morning guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, that little workout session I did. I forgot to record the last thing I did. The last thing I did was good mornings. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a bar on your back. You hinge at the hips kind of like an RDL and it works the same muscle groups as an RDL, your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, so the purpose and the goal of this morning strength session was to get stronger with my Olympic lifts. So the first thing we did, which was uh, we warmed up with the dumbbell, we did that little complex thing, and then we worked on uh, squat cleans from the high hang, from mid thigh, and from full floor. Work at a like little bit of lighter weight. I went 235, working on speed and. Uh, and positionings and then we did the behind the neck split jerks which is going to carry over to our in front of the neck excuse me in front of the neck split jerks and then we finished with the good mornings to build up our posterior chain which i've told you guys a million times that most strength and power development comes from a strong posterior chain aka a strong glute and a strong hamstring and a strong lower back now uh we're gonna go get some barbecue food i'm gonna head off to gnc right now pick up a couple things Bam! All right, so I just got back from GNC. I used my brother. He gave me a $50 card for Christmas. So I got some creatine because I was running out of creatine. I got some omega-3 fish oil because I work out a lot and I'm trying to keep my joints healthy and lubricated. And I got some vitamin D because as you can see outside, it is gross, rainy. It's winter here in uh, Connecticut. I'm surprised it's not snowing, but it's raining anyways, and it's dark and there's not a lot of sunlight. So I'm trying to get my vitamin D up. So uh, just gonna help with supporting my bones, supporting my brain, and all that good stuff that the sun does for you. All right guys, so we just got some food. I got uh, about a pound of whole chicken with a little piece of cornbread there. I also got some collard greens, which if you guys don't know, it's pretty much a spinach. And I got a little bit of rice and beans as well. So we're gonna dive into this. Caitlin got a massive thing of mac and cheese. It's really she... not that big. No, it's pretty massive. And she also got the pound of pulled chicken. And if you can hear, my dogs are at the door, definitely wanting scratching to the door, definitely wanting to come in <laughs> and devour that. Random thought, but what I was thinking, when I was in GNC, the guy would not shut up to me about the different supplements, and I noticed that every time I asked him a question about a supplement, he would always refer me to the most expensive supplement, whether it was, uh, whether it was actually better for you or if it just cost more because it was going to help him get more commission or it was going to help him uh, sell a more expensive product. So little tip, when you go into GNC, just know what you want before you get in the store go in there get it and don't let these sales people because that's what they really are they really are sales people don't let them manipulate you into spending more than you really need because supplements are extremely expensive uh, some of them don't even freaking work so make sure you do your research beforehand know what you want go into the store grab it pay it and whenever they say oh you should get this and say just say no i'm okay thank you though and then leave the store oh jesus guys so uh, me and Caitlin just watched the Jungle Book. I'm extremely tired from this morning session, but you know, <clears throat> my goals, my goals mean more to me than just staying in and taking a nap. And I understand that Sunday is my off day. So I'm gonna head back to the gym. I'm gonna get in this uh, Metcom piece, a little skill work. I'm probably gonna practice my muscle ups a little bit more and some other little gymnastics things because I suck at gymnastics, but I'm, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna work on them. Just because I suck at something, I'm absolutely gonna work on it. Especially you guys should do that too. If you guys suck at something, even if you're doing physique, even if you're not doing CrossFit, you guys should work on that muscle group, work on that body part, give it a little more extra attention. When you suck at something, it needs that extra attention. So, I'm tired, but I'm gonna go put in the work. I'm not gonna bring you guys along with me since I'm gonna be taking the class and I wanna be putting my full effort into the class but I will be ending this vlog with a little tip, so stay tuned. When I get home, I will film the tip, and then this video will be up on, what's tomorrow, Friday? Yeah, it will be up on Friday. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned for the tip. Yo, what's up guys? So I just got back from the gym, and for those of you guys that say CrossFit is for pussies, or CrossFit is like not challenging, or CrossFit is not gonna get you stronger, I got something for you. So tonight's workout was every five minutes, 
you're doing a max set of deadlifts at 275 pounds right into, once you finish your max set, you're going right into a max set of strict handstand push-ups. So on the first round, I got 20 deadlifts at 275 and I got 11 handstand push-ups, strict handstand push-ups. On the second set, I got 21 deadlifts at 275 and 12 handstand push-ups strict. On the third set, I got 20 reps of 275 deadlift and I got 11 reps of strict handstand push-ups. On the last set, I got 17 reps at 275 for deadlifts and I got on strict handstand push-ups, I got nine reps. So I think that's pretty damn strong for two, 275 pounds to do it for 21 reps. Uh, that was my max set, or that was my highest of the max sets for deadlift. Um, one, one time I did 385 pounds on the deadlift for 10 reps. So for those of you guys that say CrossFitters aren't strong, I beg to differ and I have experience for you because if you don't think moving 275 pounds for 21 reps isn't strong, then I, I don't know what to tell you. So anyways, guys, I want to end this video with um, something important, something I've, re, I've talked about before, but I want to talk about it even more because I think it is so, 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 so crucial. So earlier in the video, you guys saw that I bought um, supplements. I bought creatine, fish oil, and vitamin D. Okay, so I think I really want to touch upon supplements. A lot of people, they think that supplements are at the top of the f top of the chain for improving your fitness or for improving your looks or for improving strength gains or whatever. No, they're actually so low on the totem pole for importance to your training that it's it's not even funny. Supplements is a money sucking industry. People in companies are advertising them. They're making these bottles look extremely pretty just because they want you to buy it. Not because it, it's actually gonna help you or anything, but it is such a money sucker, it actually drives me crazy. So let me just talk to you guys about what you should be doing before, or what's even better than taking a supplement. The best supplement that you guys could use is sleep. Sleep next to steroids is the best way to recover from a workout. Sleep next to steroids is the best thing to reset your hormone levels after a workout. Sleep next to steroids is the fastest way to recover from a workout and getting ready to work out the next day. Sleep eight to 10 hours. Sleep, 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 sleep. That should be your best friend and that is your number one supplement. Your number two supplement is food. Eat healthy foods. Eat foods that once walked. Eat foods that once ran. Eat foods that had heartbeats. Eat foods that were swimming. Eat foods that were flying. Eat foods that were picked off trees, grown from the ground. Uh, harvested in farms, eat those kinds of foods. Recover, and that is your second best supplement, is food and sleep. Uh, your third best supplement is water. I mean, <laughs> supplements are all around us. You don't need to go to GNC to buy a supplement. And second, and my next point is, you shouldn't be buying supplements unless you have your sleep down and unless you have your nutrition down. If your nutrition isn't on point and if your sleep isn't on point, then you're wasting your money by buying this stuff. And you're also wasting your time too because this stuff only becomes extremely effective once you have the other stuff down. So if, imagine you're training as a cake. The main part of the cake, the spongy part or the ice cream cake, the main thick part of the cake is your sleep, your training, and your nutrition. The icing on the cake, the icing on top, is if you have that cake layer ready to go, you can add the icing to the cake. So that's how I'm gonna end this video. I hope, I hope, I hope that message gets through to you guys so you guys can stop wasting your time and your energy and your money on supplements and start focusing on the stuff that's actually gonna make you stronger, fitter, and lose weight. Um, lastly, guys, if you guys need a training plan or if you guys need some direction with your training, I do offer online coaching. I have four weeks, six week, eight week, 12 week, and 16 week packages. Each package comes with a nutrition plan personalized for you and a training plan and also 24 seven contact support. So if you guys have any questions during the training, uh, I'm right there to coach you. You guys can email me and I respond at least within a day. So that's how I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys are ready to attack this new year with me. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.